Welcome to another edition of SIB in Atlanta on location in Rockdale County. Hi, my name is Marcus Celeste, and thank you for watching. Thank you so much for joining us for SIB in Atlanta. We're here in Conyers, Georgia, Rockdale County for the Think Under Fire seminar, workshop, and so much more where young people, parents, get a chance to hear from law enforcement and understand how to engage them in a safe and secure manner. Hi, this is Sergeant Hambrick, and I just want to share with you a wonderful tool to get your youth to be able to engage with law enforcement so that they can remain safe in lethal confrontations. One of the principles that we teach here at Tuff is simply this, comply comply. When you comply, you just do what the officer says to do. No matter whether you're right or you're wrong or you're justified or not, just comply. It'll save your life. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, we have Jess in the house. And Jess, you brought a group of uh, young people down to the seminar, the workshop. Uh, tell me what you thought about the workshop today. Uh, I really liked the workshop and how we were able to incorporate um, different officers and also just to talk about current events mm -hmm. and show different scenarios and engage the youth in actually acting out some of the scenarios. I was, I was saying to someone earlier that I never thought about all of the different options that the police officers have in an instant of a moment and mm -hmm. how they have to execute that with as much wisdom and intelligence as possible and get it right. right. That's just a lot. Your thoughts? Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, because there's so many split decisions that need to be made um, and trying to assess whether uh, a certain person may use force or mm -hmm. just try to follow and comply. And, and in addition to that, the safety rating for many communities across Atlanta uh, and across the U.S., uh, has gone down because of the latch key window where kids are unsupervised. Mm -hmm. um, give us your thoughts about how parents and communities in general can help close that gap uh, regarding those kids that are available to run the streets or run with their friends between three and six. Mm -hmm. um, I think some, you know, there are some community uh, resources um, that can cater towards young people to um, have them learn different life skills or participate in groups um, and be able to just do things like that and have them come together as opposed to just running around after school. Yeah, I like that group idea. Tell everybody a little bit about your nonprofit and uh, perhaps uh, what it is that you guys are bringing to your community. What community are you representing? Yes, um, I work at Chris Kids and we work with people in different counties, so DeKalb, Fulton, um, Rockdale, and Gwinnett, and we have some group home kids that are in foster care that we visit, um, and we just have them come. We do different groups each day, have different um, activities, and have them learn different life skills, and just try to engage them in activities that they want to do. Um, I, I like positive group interaction. I'm a, I'm a product of that, even though I had two parents. I spent some time in foster care, I spent some time. Uh, being cared for in group therapy. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a big fan of, of group activity and group interaction. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Out. Shout out to all the kids. You want to give a couple of shout outs real quick? Yes. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Hey, we'll be right back after this. If you want to see Tough come to your community, you want to see Tough come to your boys club, you want to see Tough come to your high school, to your church, I just want you to follow that information down on the screen and we will be so happy to come and share this wonderful initiative to you. We look forward to seeing you very soon. Until next time, we'll see you on location or at the news desk.